Hey everybody, uh, we're looking at my 40 breeder Black Ghost Knife Fish Tank here. And I'm hoping we're going to actually get to see the Black Ghost come out a little bit. I've put some sinking shrimp pellets in there, and there's the head sticking out. Maybe we'll get a little bit of a look at the fish. He usually comes out after a while. He'll nibble at the ones that land in front of his cave, and then as time goes on, he'll come out. He'll get a little more bold and move around the tank. I used to have a much more aggressive fish in this tank with him that... Uh, tormented him every time he came out so he's still not fully used to coming out and going around the tank he still seems a bit cautious about it uh, but once he comes out hopefully we'll get to see him swimming around a little bit I just wanted to shoot a little bit of video on this tank and have a good look at it for a while um, I did an around the world update here a few minutes ago uh, well actually it was a few hours ago at this point I always get distracted whenever he comes out he is such a neat fish but I shot an around the world update here a little while ago and I completely failed to mention until later in the video when I got around to my quarantine tank that I have added the barbs that I had in my quarantine tank into this tank and I had five originally that were this size and two of those died within the last couple of months and I went ahead and added another school and you can see these much smaller ones over here. I put five more of these size in and hopefully in time they will grow into a nice school. Now of course because I've got food in the tank everybody's going you know crazy swimming around everywhere and we're not going to get a good look at them schooling around. But initially there was a little bit of separation between the larger ones and the smaller ones. The larger ones seemed to harass and pick on the smaller ones a little bit. But I think that was just sort of establishing a pecking order with new fish in the tank. And once they had been in there for a little while, everything sort of settled down. And I don't have any real issues. I've got to say, these barbs are definitely one fish that I am surprised about. I didn't think I was going to like them. I got them kind of spur of the moment. They were on sale. I was looking for something different. I said, what the hell, I'll try some barbs. Uh, I had always been told they're aggressive, you've got to keep them together, and even then they'll nip at each other's fins, and so on and so forth. And I've had nothing but good experience with them. I haven't had any aggression or fin nipping. I mean, they chase each other around a little bit, but so do the Tetras. You know, it's just, it's, it, it's just seems like it's so overrated, the amount of aggression that they get. It's funny, everybody talks about Goramis as though they're you know, lovely, wonderful community fish, when Grammys can actually be quite aggressive. Yet yeah, these barbs, which sort of have a reputation for being kind of nasty fish, I just don't see it at all. I really like these barbs a lot. Um, definitely one that I would recommend. Uh, again, it was not one I particularly wanted, but since they, you know, turned out to be so great, I have added five more. So eventually I'll have a nice school of eight full-size barbs in here uh, to go in this tank. And I am waiting on new tubes. Another thing that's going on in here is the lighting right now is a little out of whack for what it normally is. I have two fixtures on the top. Uh, normally, right now I'm down to one. Each fixture contains two T5 high output tubes. So there's quite a lot of light on this tank normally. And right now with the one fixture being out, I only have two tubes running right down the center. Normally I have two in the uh, rearward section and then two over the front section, uh, you know, the doorway part that lifts up to feed or have access to the tank. I keep a fixture laying across that. So normally this tank is much, much differently lit, much more brightly lit and it's lit a lot closer to the front. So you really get to see the colors pop on all these fish. Uh, one of these days I am going to get together some different lights and some different color temperature lights and I'm going to shoot some video with turning some different lights on and off and just showing you a different way to look at the tank and um, that's a labor intensive video. It's shooting a lot of different clips and keeping track of stuff and uploading different things and I got to collect up all the different light bulbs and so on and so forth. So uh, lately I've just not been motivated enough to do all that. Um, again, as the weather starts cooling down and I start spending a lot more time in the house, we might be shooting uh, more videos like that. In fact, I know we will. I definitely shoot a lot more stuff like that. It takes up an afternoon, you know, on a cold rainy day in the autumn. So I look forward to stuff like that coming up. I might do a little bit of that with this tank while I do have the one fixture out. It's going to be a couple more days before I get another uh, set of tubes in. The first set of tubes arrived in pieces. 
So I'm waiting for another set of tubes to come in and I will get the second fixture back up and running. Uh, in the meantime, maybe I'll shoot a quick video and just show you what a couple of different lights look like on top of this or something like that. So anyway, nothing really in particular. I just wanted to have a little look at this tank. It really looks good. I like this tank a lot. This has always been one of my favorites. Uh, one of these days, I told it a long time ago, but one of these days I'll tell the story about how I collected the wood for this tank. Uh, it took me almost two months to finally get that wood from where I found it to in the tank. So that was an adventure. Anyway, thanks for watching this one. If you're not already subscribed, you should go ahead and do so. That way you won't miss anything I got coming up. You never really know what you're going to get with me. And I do have a lot of different tanks, and most of them are pretty interesting. So if you're subscribed, you won't miss anything. And I thank you for watching this one, and I'll see you real soon on the next one.